All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim Awashai, Ba'ashim Rakah Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside Him. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who have taught us this truth through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Awashai, and honor citations to the elect. All right, so. Uh, you know, it's going to be a real quick lesson. All right, something I was just really meditating on. <clears throat> and um, I'm really beginning to see why, man. You got uh, Daniel 6 and 10. Why Daniel was in the spirit. Daniel 6 and 10 says, Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem. That's right, because we want to pray towards the east whenever we can. <clears throat> but you can also pray driving in your car, you know, sitting down, whatever. And then you just got this, this formal prayer, all right, which says he kneeled upon his knees, which is kneeling upon your knees, praying to your heart facing the east. You got that as well, you know. Which is uh, definitely a beautiful thing, okay, to do. Just showing the Lord that you're humble, that you believe, that you have faith, okay, that you want to be uh, delivered. And that's another thing. A lot of people don't even want to be delivered. Okay? So, you know, think about that, man. You know, it's a good spirit to want to be delivered. But anyway, sticking on the topic... It says he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his power as he did a fourth time. So it is uh, Daniel, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day facing the east and prayed. So he prayed three times a day, formally, that is, okay, because I'm pretty sure he was praying a lot more in his mind. As he was going to and fro wherever. But I know that he formally prayed three times a day upon his knees. <clears throat> Obviously, you know, most likely representing in the morning, afternoon, and the night. The three phrases, phases of the day. And uh, one thing I, re one thing I realized, realized that you can benefit from doing this is, well, throughout the day, so like throughout the day, man, there's different different things going on. The scriptures say, uh, what's that, Matthew? Oh, you know, I'll get a Luke 21, right? A benefit to praying three times a day because throughout the day we see different things going on. Luke 21, 36, watch you therefore and pray always. That you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So, you know, we're watching throughout the whole day. We're watching the news. We're watching other brothers' lessons. We're watching things that other brothers are bringing out. And <clears throat> say you formally set up an afternoon prayer for such and such time, right? And hell, 20 minutes before that, you were just watching a news article about how they doing this, how they doing that. Well, if you set up an afternoon prayer, now that gives us a, a, um, a reflection of that phase of the day within the things that we've seen, man. <clears throat> the, th <clears throat> the things that we've seen within that phase of the day. And that gives you a chance to pray to be delivered from that. Okay? Or you or you may be talking to the brethren. Alright? A, a, a fellow believer. He may have told you something that he may be, be uh, could be going through or something. Right? He could have told you that. Certain. In a certain phase of the day. And then you finally. <clears throat> come to. The time where you, you set up that particular phase of the day prayer. 
And right then and there, it gives you a chance to reflect on what the brother had just said. And it's a fresh new prayer that's going up, man. You know, because he only may have told you that such and such long ago. So that's an opportunity for you to pray for that brother, man. So you see that when you in that spirit, you 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 see that you always have something to pray about. It's something always lurking. <clears throat> Let me get that scripture. <clears throat> Psalms, um, let's see Psalms ten and eight here. It says he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. So there's always something going on. Es Esau is always lurking. He always got some wickedness on the horizon to come up against us. And we see it in these different news articles and so forth, man. Right? So when we when we see that, and then, you know, you come into the phase of the day where you... When you set up a prayer upon your, you know, on your knees to your Bash Mashai, you you put that in reflection and pray to be delivered from that, man. Pray to be saved from that. And that's just one phase, man. Not to mention we need to be praying for faith, strength, wisdom, okay, protection, all right, growth, and so forth, man. <clears throat> More understanding, if I didn't say that already. Right? It's, it's so much, man. Like, this truth is, is, is totally amazing, bro. It's, it's nonstop. That's why how much I said rivers of living water. There's so many aspects and avenues. Like, it's, it's truly incredible, man. There's always room for growth. And that's crazy. <clears throat> Let me just end it off with Isaiah 26. And 10. So, yeah, this is just... Something that I learned in <coughs> Isaiah 26, Isaiah 26 and 3. Something that I realized, man, that's beneficial to uh, our spirits. You know, within connecting with Yahweh Shemah Shai furthermore. So it's Isaiah 26 and 3. That will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So when you set up. I know I know the brother Yahweh Shai Zion was getting to this as well. Maybe like two weeks ago. <clears throat> when you set up these different prayers, man. Discipline yourself to pray at such and such time formally. And then we know, of course, you really should be praying without ceasing. You can pray in your mind, in the car, everywhere. But then formally upon your knees when you set up these times, man. It helps your mind stay on the Lord, bro. All throughout the day. When you do that, your mind is stayed upon the Harabash Mashai all throughout the day, man. When you do these prayers, morning prayer, afternoon prayer, nightly prayer, <clears throat> that is a form of your mind being stayed on the Harabash Mashai. And in return, reading it again, that will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. <clears throat> okay? And why? Because as you see in different things throughout the day, you see we, us getting closer and closer to the end. You're praying to be delivered from that, you know, amongst other things. And it says, because he trusteth in thee. Damn, see that? So that's a form of trust. Let's get into that word trust, matter of fact, man. From the Hebrew word, basak, oh, batach, salakia, batach. <clears throat> it says to trust, to trust and to have confidence in, to be confident, to be bold, to be secure. See that, man? So, oh yeah, hope, of course, putting your hope in him. Damn. Whew. He's going to keep you in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on thee because you hoping in him to do the things that you're praying unto. <clears throat> Right, so um, let me just end it off with this. Um, one of my favorite scriptures, absolutely, pure faith boosting scripture, right out of the scriptures. 
a faith boosting scripture right out the scriptures, man. This is a uh, James chapter one verses. I'll get to the point. Verse six, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. You're in for a wild ride, man. You know, all over the place. You got to be firm. Verse 7. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. So if you ask Yahweh Shemashah for something and you think that you won't even get it. You're not firm that you're going to receive it. Then the Lord said, don't ask anything then. Don't even ask him for anything then if you're going to ask him without faith that you are going to receive it. And that's how the Lord gets down, man. So that means when we pray for something, man, we got to know, <clears throat> all right, that we're that we going to get it. <clears throat> okay. Now I know the brother Taz War, all right, my camp leader, I know he says, well, I remember he said drop that gym that, uh, Going into the scripture way, you got to say the water. And the reason why you say the water at the end is because that, that's extra faith that you're going to receive it. So you're saying thank you as if you got it already. You know, and that's and that's linking it up with the scriptures. That's right on point, man. That's the spirit we should be in. So Lord willing, this is just some advice, man, to Lord willing to help, help our brothers out. Lord willing, this is edifying. I'm going to say Sean.